My name is Hassan Abdul El Ghani. Uh, the ma'am gave me that name when I was manager of Salam Restaurant years ago, and his father brought me in as a manager, uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, years ago. It's not about me. I'm a successful businessman, and I became successful. The brother said the words, do something for self. And those who believe that, you can. There's no way you can't. Now, a lot of people say, yeah, I heard it, but did you really hear it? Do something for self. And not only that, did you hear the words the imam said? It's your turn. Now, do you believe that? The thing is, you have to believe to achieve. And if you don't believe it, you will never do nothing for yourself, and you will never be successful. You can be successful in this world. All we have to do is believe. And if we believe, and that's a lot, you have to pray, and God will bless you. He opened doors. I almost lost all my property. I have several pieces of property. You know what happened in 08. 08, this banks locked down everything, interest rate, you can't do nothing. Tell them about your credit. <laughs> well, I don't want to tell them about that till the 1st of September, uh, October. I'll tell them, okay. Now, I have a product that Imam Muhammad told me to manufacture. He wanted me to manufacture that product in his warehouse when he had the, the cold storage with the meats. And I told him, yes, I was moving to Chicago. And when I asked him, I told him I'm on my way. I sold my business. I had a restaurant, a couple of restaurants, and I sold my business. And he called me. I called him. I said, Brother Imam, I'm ready to come. He said, Brother Agani, don't come. I said, wow. I said, don't come. I just sold my business. <laughs> but that was all right. I had other businesses. But the whole thing is, is that. Oh, yeah. Everybody that tastes that, they, they like, you got a hook on crack now. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. 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 The thing is, is that the imam loved it. He told me to manufacture it. And now it's time to manufacture it. I'm ready to manufacture it. And I have my labels ready. It's going to be on the market. And it's a product you can buy right off the shelf like you can buy spaghetti sauce. It's a real good product. And you don't have to buy it in the freezer. You got a name for it? The name is Gumbo. It's my granddaughter called me and said, name it Papa's Gumbo. <laughs> All right, Papa's Gumbo uh, Hassan. That's a good name too. <laughs> yeah, alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah. Let me say this here. And God willing, I hope to be here October first. And there's more I want to tell you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. What is my son? My name is Malik Salim, and I like to ask a question: Is how many people in here wash clothes? Just by a show of hand. So. Everybody seems to like they wash clothes. So, excuse me, hold that for a minute, please. We have a laundry detergent, one of the best laundry detergent on the market. It's called True Product, True Laundry Detergent. And we like to thank, we like to thank the believers for supporting us in all of these years that we, we've been doing it for two years now, and we, we appreciate your support. And we have it in now, and almost 20, we have 20, 20 distributors in 20 states. We also sell it in um, Bahamas and with plan to sell it in South Africa. And uh, we just thank you and uh, we ask for your prayers to make do out for us that we be successful. So, uh, as the sister comes up, let me just tell you, I use the, I use the product, I buy it, uh, it, it does wonders. Now, you know, um, I'm married, been married uh, 30, my wife gets married when I do it, about 35 years, so she's interrupting me now. Uh, <clears throat> it works great, but now we have a difference of opinion. So since I buy that detergent, she buys another detergent. So the important thing is, we continue to support them because she likes how they work with their clothes, but I'm going to support these Muslim brothers over here. And it does just, just good, good with my clothes, and I want to put some money in their pocket. That's as well. I just want to say that. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> my name is Coral Kadar. I'm sorry that you didn't realize when I was online that I was actually four people. There were actually three invisible people standing next oh, to me, okay. so I get extra time. <laughs> now, I, I want to say that I'm here to represent for my husband's business, U.S. Universal Services. That's the first business. And he can tell you more about that. He took over Brother Ronald Alda's business in Lawnside, New Jersey. It's construction. 
uh, and construction consultation company. Also, my son Ismail Kadar could not be here because he just uh, won a contract, a security contract in New York that he had to secure payroll and he really wanted to be here with you this weekend. Um, some of you know that Ismail's company set out to establish a new reputation for security businesses because we lost our image because of some big security companies that were not honorable. So he would not accept contracts that he could not pay prevailing wage. Starting people, young men on security contracts, making sure they got their licenses, starting them making $16 an hour. And challenging the established companies saying, you're, 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 you're misreading these contracts and you're underpaying. Shaking up some politics there too. The other uh, thing that I want to mention is um, my husband's business partner, there's a lot going on with energy change. You see the gasoline prices going down. Don't sleep on it. Th something's changing. There's a seismic change in the vortex. Don't miss out. One of the things that's going on is my husband's business partner works for a, a massive contracting company. The, one of the contracts that they have right now, there is a, he's working for, they're working for a, a company that has a, the patent to package spent um, fuel from nuclear fuel. He has this Indian brother has the patent, the international patent, to lock down nuclear fuel for what, 500 years or 1,000 years? Do you understand? No, this is nuclear plants that now are realizing this, this way of energy is going out. So how do, what do we do with this nuclear fuel that you can't, that you can't, that's contaminating the world? You gotta take it to Nevada somewhere, plant it down, and still can't control it. So, the plant that they're building, I don't know how big this plant is, but this plant is, has a, they have to employ, because it's in Camden, New Jersey, they have to give a certain amount of contracts to African American minority contracts. Our brother Ibrahim, is able to give contracts. There's some millions of dollars that has to go to us. He can't find the contractors. If you know someone in the Camden, Philadelphia area, minority contract that's reputable, please see my husband. We have work that he can do that has to go to him if he can do it. The last thing I want to say, if you are uh, an investor that understands risk, I have an investment opportunity for you. It is not without risk, but it is an amazing opportunity to invest in liquid natural gas. Please see me afterwards. Finally, to my sisters, my business is Mother's Mind, a publishing Mother's Mind um, is a business to promote family, parenting, nurturing. This is MGT, but it is done, you know, in a different way. I would love to see other women getting together to do this in their neighborhoods, in their, in their areas all over the world. Because our, our young women, we need it desperately. Sisters, if you get together, do MGT, make it into a business so that we can save our families. Assalamu alaikum. Morning, my son. Oh, my name is Alameen Muhammad. I'm the son of um, the man of the year, Imam Abdul Akbar Muhammad. Uh, first, I want to start off as, um, I first started off as a business person as watching my father. He always ran his own bean pot company. And um, we used to always come to the Muslim conventions and sell Muslim journals and bean pods for a long time. And I'm 30 years old now and I have four businesses. I have a, um, I have a restaurant. I have a clothing store and I have two grocery stores. And I just wanted to say I watched my father take care of business and I've been Muslim all my life and he showed me the way. And I just want to say this was a great thing for me to come back again. I haven't been in about five years. So it was a good blessing to see everybody and everybody keep up the good work. I saw you. Assalamu alaikum. Um, I'm Miriam Sabir. 
Um, I have my own company, it's V Mitchell LLC. I'm a facility maintenance management company. I am a small business enterprise, a woman in business enterprise, an economically disadvantaged business enterprise. I can bid on any government contract anywhere in the United States. I'm qualified, I'm certified for any set aside program program as he was she was talking about and um, I'm just happy to be here so if anyone have a list of contractors and stuff throughout the United States I would like a copy of that list because I just received something from the government they wanted the um, air traffic control tower in Alabama painted they was willing to pay a hundred thousand dollars for that to go in to clean it to paint it and everything and to get it ready I knew no one in Alabama but when I went into this business I said I have a unique experience because I'm part of an organization that's throughout the United States and I can bid any government contract I just got something from picking picking in the arsenal saying that they wanted 75,000 square feet of uh, floor stripped and waxed um, I'm supposed to go see that when I get back in Pennsylvania. I got to find someone. One brother said, well, I can strip floors. He said, I got, you know, a sand and stripper. I said, brother, no, you're talking about major machinery here you need. We're talking about 75,000 feet uh, floor. You know, do you know with a stripper and a, a sander and stripper, you cannot do anything with that. You know, you need more than that. So I'm looking for people who are able to do major contracts in our community to contact me so that we can see what we can work together to do in your area because they send me contracts all the time saying that they have set aside programs, $18 million contracts, $25 million contracts. Some of them is willing to pay me as a brother shaking his head, his head and he knows 25%. Some of them are willing to pay me 30%. All I ask you must have your business registration certificate. You must must have your paperwork. You must have an OSHA card saying that when you go into a business that you know what to, your people should look like. Meaning that you can't send your people up on the roof without being tied back. Mm -hmm. I need you to know what your cape, what the what you're required to have in order to help me do a better job. Because if I come into your area and decide to work with you to do that job. I expect you to be my eyes and ears because I can't bring a whole team from one part of the country to the other part of the country. But for small jobs that they're putting out contracts for, I'm willing to take a chance on someone. Okay, put my name out there, my company out there to do that particular job. Okay. I sound like.